Hey, what's up guys? So iOS 12.0.1 has been released today. It's the first official and public release of iOS 12 since the initial release. And there's actually quite a few bug fixes and quality of life updates that I'd like to cover with you. So lucky for us, Apple did release a quite detailed release log and they actually listed all the changes found in this update. So first off, it fixes an issue where some iPhone XS devices did not charge immediately. That's when you would plug it into charge and it would not charge unless you actually tap the screen and it woke up and then it started charging. So if you guys guys ever woke up and your phone wasn't fully charged in the morning, this will fix that. And that's probably the biggest change with iOS 12.0.1. Also, it does fix the passcode bypass. So that does not work in this release any longer. It's just not listed here. Also resolves an issue that could cause iPhone XS devices to rejoin a Wi-Fi network at a lower speed or frequency 2.4 gigahertz instead of five gigahertz. So that was causing a lot of Wi-Fi issues for people that has been resolved as well. Another very big one. And on the iPad. So previous Obviously, your keyboard would look like this. The uh, key, the number and symbol key would be on the right, you know, past the emoji key. Now it's been rectified to where it's on the left. And when you go into landscape mode, that still stays on the left. So it doesn't switch and it's not annoying anymore. So iPad users rejoice. There was also an issue where subtitles wouldn't appear when you were watching a video in certain applications and it addresses an issue where Bluetooth could be unavailable. So as you can see, a whole host of fixes and changes. Absolutely go ahead and download this and install it right Right away, it'll actually fix a lot of issues and ailments that many people were having with iOS 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on my main device. But over here, I have not noticed a difference in speed or anything like that. Again, it's just those little bug fixes. So one run a Geekbench, see if there's any difference here whatsoever. I'm actually kind of surprised that it took them this long to release this after all of the major issues people were having. I mean, just complaints after complaints. And I wouldn't be surprised if they did something with the noise and the whole front facing camera thing, but really a non-issue. I think it's just overblown by so many people. Oh, wow. And quite a suspiciously low score here. Multi-core dipped into the low 11,000s previously on 12.1 beta. It was on 11,476, but I highly doubt that that's any cause for alarm. Otherwise, it seems pretty stable. Go ahead and update. You will enjoy all the bug fixes that this does bring to your device. Oh, and check this out. So the respring crash in Safari has not been fixed yet. I really don't see why they wouldn't do that. It seems like it'd be a pretty simple fix just to implement that, but it does crash it and it actually seems to have gotten worse. Like my iPhone takes way longer to restart now after the iOS 12.0.1 update. Very interesting. All right, guys, there it is, iOS 12.0.1. Do update immediately, a much needed update before the big iOS 12.1 one. All right, hope you guys enjoy your day, peace.